Hi, I'm Ogie Haas. This is a mini lesson series on my book, Build Your Range. Today I'm going to be talking about the warm up part one, two, and three. Warm up part one has to do with long tones. Warm up part two is an expanding exercise that descends, and warm up part three is an expanding exercise that ascends. So the first part of my warm-up is just long tones. It's like the equivalent of stretching for an athlete. You just want to worry about creating a really beautiful sound, breath attacks, don't exceed a dynamic marking of mezzo forte, and try and keep as steady of a tone as possible. So in warm up part two, uh, what I want you to think about is really blowing your air evenly from the first note of the sequence to the last note of the sequence and following that for every sequence. So when you start, let's say you start on the G, I want an even amount of air blown all the way through the C. And it's really important that you end each note just as good as you start each note. Playing the third part of the warm-up, it's really important to listen to your chops. If you're feeling tired or strained, it's really important that you do not do the entire sequence. sound to match evenly from the low register to the high register. You want a slight crescendo on the way up and a slight day crescendo on the way down. And it's also really important to stay controlled in both ascending and descending. You don't want anything to ever feel out of your control or, or spastic or anything like that. The whole point of warming up 
is to give yourself success for later in the day. Thanks for checking out the video on warming up. For more information, visit www.augiehouse.com.